Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lesson. This video is going to be about population genetics and here is a problem. In the plant species Grandiflora, most individuals have large flowers. However, plants that are homozygous recessive for the locus G have small flowers. If there are 75 plants with large flowers and genotype is G blank space and 25 plants with small flowers, that is small G, small G or homozygous recessive, Calculate the following, assume um, Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium and we have to find uh, uh, answers to question A, the frequency of the alleles G uh, capital and G small dominant and recessive and uh, second question B, the genotype frequencies. And as usual, I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve this problem on your oven first, and when you would be ready, you can run video again, and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. In order to solve this problem, everything you have to know, uh, Hardy-Weinberg formula, and uh, in this formula we have two alleles, allele P and allele Q. So when we add these two alleles, we are going to get 1 and 1 equals to 100 percent. In our problem we have two alleles that is capital G and uh, P stands for the dominant allele and Q stands for the recessive allele so this is going to be uh, small g and um, Hardy-Weinberg formula is F that stands for the frequency of the three genotypes that can be made by two alleles so this would equal to p squared plus 2pq plus q squared and all the three genotypes when we combine them would equal to 1. And p squared in this formula stands for the homozygous dominant genotype so capital G capital G 2pq stands for the uh, heterozygous genotype, so capital G and small g, and Q squared stands for the homozygous recessive genotype, so small g, small g. And uh, how we are going to solve this problem? We have to find frequency of the genotype that we know. We cannot find frequency of any of these genotypes because these two genotypes would make one phenotype and we know that there are 75 plants but we know for sure that uh, we have 25 plants that is going to be homozygous recessive because we are told that those plants that is uh, homozygous recessive produce small flowers and we know that uh, number of such plants is 25 but this is not the frequency we have to find frequency first, how we are going to do it. We have to divide 25 by total number of plants. And we have 75 plants that belong to the dominant phenotype plus 25 plants that uh, belong to the homozygous recessive genotype. So this is how we find frequency of the recessive genotype that is 0.25. And we can put this number here. Now this number is the frequency of this genotype. So we can say that Q squared equals to 0 0.25 according to this part of the formula. But uh, in order to solve our problem we need number Q and P. But we know number Q squared. So how we can get uh, q we just have to take square root from q squared and from this right uh, part uh, also so q would equal to square root of 0 0.25 or this is going to equal to 0 0.5 so this is going to be frequency of the q allele or frequency of the um, recessive allele G that is the same and we can put this frequency here and because allele Q plus allele P equal to 1 
we instantly know the frequency of the allele P. This is also going to equal to 0 0.5. When we add these two numbers, we are going to get 1. So now we know number P, we know uh, frequency of the Q, and uh, now we can use our formula in order to find frequencies of the uh, homozygous dominant genotype and heterozygous, and we already know frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype. So um, we can use uh, P squared and p squared would equal to uh, 0 0.5 this is frequency of the allele p also squared so the frequency would equal to 0 0.25 so we can put this number here 0 0.25 and in order to find frequency of the heterozygous genotype we also have to use this part of the formula so this is genotype capital G capital G and now we are going to find genotype that is capital G small g and for this genotype 2 P Q stands in our formula so we have to multiply 2 by number P that is 0 0.5 and by number Q that is also 0 0.5 and as you see, the answer would be 0 0.5. So this is going to be frequency of the heterozygous genotype. And when we add all these three numbers, as you see, we are going to get 1. So our calculations are correct. And once again, the frequency of the alleles G capital and G Recessive would be uh, 0 0.5 and uh, 0 0.5 and uh, capital G in our formula represented with P and small g represented with Q. So this is going to be our answers for the first question. And for the second question, uh, frequencies of the three genotypes, frequency of the homozygous dominant genotype would be 0 0.25 or we can multiply this number by 100 and we are going to get 25% frequency of the heterozygous genotype would be 0 0.5 or we can multiply this number by 100 and we are going to get um, 50% and the frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype equals to 0 0.25 or to 25% if we multiply by 100. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.